guys we're uh, gonna be building a tree fort today uh, just kind of working on my son's tree fort uh, I milled all this pine from uh, a pine log that I cut over at my neighbors which is almost in my in my tree line and uh, milled it up on my sawmill my Woodmiser LT 15 and we're going to uh, be building his uh, tree fort today with it so I'm adding on to what was already uh, what I did a couple weeks ago hoping to get it a little bit further along Put a couple lower levels in so that he has something to uh, kind of work his way up to the upper level. Uh, might have some time to get a, a kind of like a ship's ladder in. Uh, we'll see what I can do today. I have a pretty limited amount of time, but I wanted to kind of show you guys a little of that process. Uh, I got some of my tools here. Got a level, a couple different drills, really just for the batteries. Um, I got my little skill saw. I got some decking screws left over from my deck project I built a couple years ago. So uh, some two and a halfs and then some three and a halfs uh, for some, some of the structure. I've also got some GRKs. Those are pretty serious, like five sixteenths by six inch long. So those are more structural. Those are what I'm drilling into the tree, driving into the tree. I've got a speed square, and then I've got my miter, and I've got a pencil, a couple of clamps, which actually come in pretty handy when you're working by yourself. I mean, if you need to hold the board up on one other end, you just put the clamp on real quick and it allows you just to kind of have a stop to hold the other board up. So we'll get to work, we'll do a little bit of work and uh, see what I get done today. Okay, guys, this is where that clamp comes in handy. So I'm gonna put a brace from here down to the tree and uh, using just like a rough cut two by four. And I really, uh, it's gonna be a pain to try to hold it up, screw it the whole nine yards. So what I'll do is I'll put a, just stick a clamp right here, roughly where I want the brace. And now I have something to rest on if I wanna move it or adjust it. I put one screw in because I know I'm going to have to swing it and pivot it. We'll get that one screw in started. We can snug it up pretty good. Now that we got that screw started, what we do is actually pull that off on the clamp. It's held in place now. I'm just going to put a screw down here to kind of hold this in place. Like so. And now the level is pretty much where I want it to be. Close enough. There we go. Alright, now I can make my adjustment and screw my screw in. Right 
Well guys, even though we're uh, making this relatively quickly, we don't want an amateur hour production, so we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, clean up here. So I'm just gonna grab my level and get it close. So we're nice there. And we're just gonna blast that real quick so that we don't have this thing hanging around. Now we're ready. So we've got this, uh, we're gonna go from the top of this board to the bottom of this board. And I don't just wanna screw up into it because it's just not gonna give us enough uh, stability in my opinion. I'm not gonna rely on that for my son. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put a board on this guy, just going across. It's just gonna be uh, something that can tie right into the support and it'll, uh, be something for those boards to rest into and then we can just toenail them in and that'll be what the boards actually rely on for their structural support so let's go ahead and do that I got my glasses on this time we won't wear gloves on this cut just to break the rules I'm just gonna make this as difficult as possible on myself it's probably gonna get jammed up you'll see that go come and mark this line we're gonna go under here I actually marked under here because I was just thinking about videoing instead of about building so we gotta come down here and we're gonna go inch and a quarter here inch and a quarter here Quarter. So, to make my life easier, I know this is a nine inch board, so I'm just going to come down nine inches and an eighth. Give me a little room. And I'll just make a level line using the level itself. Pretty close right there. And now, to make my life easier, I'm going to go ahead and Throw this guy on here, right around where that line is, and that's just going to give me an extra hand. Let me throw it up there. So let's see if any of the screws that I put in for the other board that I screwed up. Let's see if they work. We're going to hit it with at least a couple. That's good enough. to cooperate. So we need to bring my bump this up a little bit. inch and a half. We'll live with that. And of course you shifted a little on me. I moved it, but that's alright. There you go. Put a couple more on the other end there, and uh, now we got a nice solid edge. We're not just screwing up into the bottom of this. Got a nice solid edge to go off of to bridge this gap. So let's continue on. 
Well guys, I originally cut the angle for the miter and uh, decided I wanted to come all the way out to the edge and just work my way in, so I'm going to custom cut each one of these. So I'm just going to do a quick sequence, uh, get these done real quick, bang out this deck, and uh, show you a little bit more. Every time I get in a new uh, structure I build, it's like a trust fall situation. Let's see how this one goes. Especially since I built this with one buys, but uh, all the structure is two buys. Finish screwing these couple boards in so they don't ship on me. Now what we can do is we'll uh, just kind of draw a straight edge and then schwack off the ends here, what we don't want. Now I was going to go with this edge, but I don't think I want that much overhanging. So I'm just going to go about two and a half inches, which is the width of this level. Not there. Make sure we're still trending where we want. Yes, Let's get that started. Safety glasses. A little plunge cut here. Now we've got about a two and a half inch reveal on this side. Uh, two inch, yep. And now we can start finishing the other side. Let's get this last board in position here. This is fun. This is how most homers kill themselves if uh, you didn't know. Fun fact. Fun fact. farther in, it won't hurt anything. And that's at least good to the cut line. There we go. Um, do a little, little movie magic here. Let's go moving the tripod. There you go. Since this one's going to see some more action, let's put a few more screws in. <laughs> Now those are all in. Let's uh, finish with marking this line. That's pretty close right there. We marked the line. This is definitely the way to do this. Do it while you're in a crunch, a full crunch position, if you can. I could reposition my body, but I'm that. Yeah. Let's not saw off my leg today.
I'm gonna go ahead and finish securing the uh, this side over here, which I talked about earlier, and uh, we'll wrap up for the day. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching the uh, tree fort build, and uh, this is kind of the first part of this series. And see, we'll do a couple three fort videos, maybe show a couple basic carpentry techniques. Uh, you can watch me injure myself again. Got a small cut, and it seems like that's a routine thing in the videos. Uh, but we added another level, uh, and I'm going to probably go down maybe two more levels, uh, just kind of in a triangular pattern, uh, kind of wrap around the tree. So this first level is about eight feet. The next one's about a foot lower, foot lower, foot lower. So hopefully we'll end at about six feet, five feet, somewhere in that range. Uh, and then we'll put a small ship's ladder, and uh, we'll build that next time. Thanks for watching.